school bus turned into a lifeboat as a surging flood leaves more than a dozen students trapped. Chopper 9 over the scene to give you perspective as crews work to rescue the students. Good evening on this Friday. We're happy to tell you everyone is safe tonight. Yeah, but that wasn't always a certainty. Eagle Creek and Dry Ridge overwhelmed Elliston Mount Zion Road in a matter of minutes. Not on your side, reporter Bryce Onslinger is live with how the scene all unfolded. Right. Well, once the students were off the bus, they were all taken here to Grant County High School. But getting them all to dry land was quite an ordeal. These exclusive aerial pictures taken from Chopper 9 show the extent of the flooding on Elliston Mount Zion Road. People who drive these country roads are used to seeing high water. Every time it rains this much, this fast, it floods all the time. But this morning, the water rose so fast, it put a school bus driver in a tough position. The timing was just had to be perfect. At, at 10 minutes after checking, my transportation guy went through that road checking. Uh, so the, the time between then and even when she crossed it to pick up students, it was fine. Go ahead. With water around the bus rising, the call for help was made. But even that was a struggle because there's no cell phone coverage in the area. Once help arrived, crews and boats made their way to the bus and found the best way to walk the children to safety. And they were wet, and they were muddy, and there was no easy way to get out in that location. Other than just getting a little bit of, of wet with the rain, uh, kids are in good spirits. Once they were off the bus, the kids were taken to Grant County High School. Some were picked up by their parents, others went back to class. Despite having many country roads that are prone to flooding, school officials say what happened today is a first. It's nerve-wracking for anybody who's a parent or any adult that anytime kids are in the least bit of danger. But uh, we had such uh, great adults who were very responsive that, uh, you know, I'm real satisfied with the result. Now, students here in Grant County are officially on spring break. But as you can see, spring break started early for some of the students here in the district. Bryce Onslinger, not on your side, live from Grant County High School.